translating. Some cautions about translating. The latter sadiki Belacana bazato archigo ochelehota Belacana bazadiki cochetene bazape ochelehoco. There are some, uh, some problems that you will come across. So one of these is you need to avoid literal translation. Literal translation. Let's review an example right here. D eight o bej it anko kotoshin e ya e e ba akon sendo lil. So just be aware e di the literal translation. This is what a literal translation would look like. Al sahigi e insurance plan will pay it for you. Insurance plan will pay it for you. Suppose you have to translate that. Here's a literal translation that somebody did. Peso acha na nelte na hata naikend o lel. Peso acha na nelte na hata naikend o lel. Oko kwe ya e kut aosha. Peso acha na nelte na hayanete na. Big end or liel. So literal translations are confusing. They carry no meaning. They are practically useless. Di the nahat anenigi. Of course, you know that's not, that's that's our word for a plan. But in this case, in this context, kwe, it's it's not what we do. It's, we don't use this. We would describe what an insurance health plan does, what it means. So in this case then, the plan is described. We don't use nahata. Nahata is a plan, uh, like a, a blueprint or like a, a strategic plan. That's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is what the insurance plan does for you. It takes care of you by putting up money. So the insurance company uses that money to take care of you when you need health care. So that's why we say peso na nel be na ahayanante na bikent o liel. So there are certain words that we need to describe versus our one-to-one -one, uh, correspondence and using uh, Navajo words that mean other things. There are contexts that you need to watch. So, the artist, 